Hello everyone and welcome back to the amazing world of FTV Skies. How are you guys doing? Now, today I have a lot to show you guys. No, it's it's not this room as of right now, but we will set up something with those guys just in a little bit. But, 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 I've been busy, very busy, and we're starting our main base. And just, just, just take a look at this as soon as you go inside. The look and feel of this look at this it's insane i'm really really proud of this and apparently i just got a new villager perfect that's exactly what we're going to need and if you take a look here we have a door a hidden door like that we have what's going to be our new computer yes this guy is already toggled on uh i have like a, a point here just powering and this guy is is, is, is is gonna be hard to pull off but 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 I think I'm up for the challenge but yeah this is the look from above as you guys can see and you can see we have a room right over there well this room so far is well empty because it's where we're gonna be working on today and I also really like this room as well Especially the, the center part. I really like that center part. It looks really cool. And these pillars actually give off light. Yeah. It's not super crazy, but they give a little bit of light. So that's kind of nice. Especially when it's like a dark place like this one. But we will be working on here today. And what are we going to do today? Well, today I want to be working with Create. For a couple of reasons. Is that... I want to use some create features up on the base, you know, so just to give it a little bit more of a life. And one of those things that I want to use, even though it has like no purpose, uh, it's a flywheel. Yes, it's this bad boy. I want to use a lot of these guys scattered around the base, but I need to give them power, right? Like they, they need power, they need create power or stress units. But we luckily have a new mod in this pack which is wireless stress don't don't ask me how this works i have not tested it yet but this is what we're gonna do now it has item transmitters as well which seems cool uh, oh god i just lost it <laughs> oh there it is uh, we have energy transmitters and we have fluid transmitters now i don't know about these two i'll definitely use this one though the, the energy transmitter uh, because this guy will allow me, well, to put the flywheels to spin anywhere I want. And so to start off, I'm going to need to grab a couple of things. And the main idea here is probably get a boiler up and running. Now, there's a couple of things I want to tell you guys about this base that, I, that, we're, that we'll be working on today. So this is the basic room, as you guys can see. Now... I'm gonna make another one of these here and I'm gonna make another one of these here so we're gonna have three right over here and then over on this side we're gonna maybe have a different version of these rooms and here on this side as well we're gonna have a bigger a bigger room why is that well I want to make this thing like evolve with the mods we are using so we're going to be using create today which means this room will not look the same when we're done with it now we're going to be setting up something that already should have started to be farming right now which is a, a simple setup with two auto traders that's going to allow us to be farming some flukes so this thing which is a little bit of a pain in the ass to do well this little guy trades it the flukes researcher and you can make a flukes researcher just give him a charger inside a trader so i can even show you guys yeah and he will sell for one emerald if of course you have the amazing straw hat of power that actually lowers the prices like this one <laughs> yeah if you have this thing it will sell you for one emerald some flukes which is pretty good so what we're going to be doing is we're going to put him here we're going to give this guy carrots this guy will trade for carrots and then this guy will be trading with this now of course this is a slow process it's it's a slow burner but this guy will slowly but surely start filling us with flukes 
which means I should actually be able to grab some flukes. Yeah. And we should be able to just put it right over here. Yeah, these blocks look wrong, by the way. Yeah, they look wrong. <laughs> it's okay, though. Yeah, it's not that bad of a big deal. So I can just pick all of this up. Put it over there. Boom. There we go. Pretty easy. Pretty nice. Now, these guys will slowly but surely start farming. This guy will get emeralds. And emeralds will be output into this guy. They will be traded. And this thing will be output into there. Boom. Easy peasy. So, let's start off the work. Now, just made these glasses or the goggles. They're pretty easy to do. And I think the next thing we gotta work on is this gotta work on getting some mechanical arms because these guys will be making the boiler for us or the boiler work i should say and that also requires us to make quite a lot of stuff because the boiler uh, i think i'm just gonna put it in the middle like straight up in the middle it's probably gonna break the ceiling <laughs> as well because if we take a look at the tank i think it's a copper tank the right tank yeah there it is the fluid tank we need a bunch of these copper plates now we can do the mechanical press or we can use a multi servo press that i actually have set up over here and i've been using to make some of the blocks you know i'm using to make these iron plates and so so, so it's it's actually not that bad as you can see it's quite fast just by putting here in the in this press so right now i'm gonna use this guy to make a bunch of these and then we'll go back to the boiler oh, okay okay this is now weird i i there's the guy here he's, he's right next to me what do you mean why why does he not have particles it's somewhere here oh no where's the dude he's trolling me oh my oh wait he may actually have zero traits yep that's the thing. They can spawn with zero traits. I guess I could just go sleep, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't have traits. Bro, where where is he? Ah, that makes sense. It was it was on it was on the ceiling. Aha! Oh, this guy is a lot. Yeah, he can sell me elytras, and he can sell me a lot of people's heads. Oh, I can buy a fish on his head. That's nice. He just crashed the server today. Good job, man. Good job. Well, we do have the boiler or the tank, you know, but we do need to get our hands on some blazes. Now, this is where I actually killed the wither. I killed the wither one time and I actually died here like a couple of times. I died once and then I died while trying to get my stuff back. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach my storage from here. Maybe I can deal with this in another way. Maybe if I get enough away, they can spawn? Hopefully. There we go. It's just some... Uh, Dreadful dirt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quick, quick, quick. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Quick. Get rid of that. Oh god. What did I do? Well, that's a problem for future me. And so we have the boiler, and down over here we have our blaze burners. Now. If you guys have seen one of the bees that spawn around, one of the loot bees that spawn around, you may or may not have this, a star buncle wheel. You can technically craft it if you go into some Ars Nouveau and you get yourself a star bunker shard and you do this enchantment to get this, to get this, and you can put it together with a water wheel and boom, you get a star buncle wheel. Now, why is this guy pretty good? Because it's one block machine. You see, if we pick up, for example, this rolling mill, which can put it right here, and can just put this guy here, and boom, he's going to power the rolling mill. It's it's nothing too crazy, but it's an automatic source of power, which is pretty good. Now, we have some bamboo right over here, and we're gonna need nine of this bamboo. Guess I'll have to plant some more. 
so I don't waste it. And we're gonna put it over here. Oh, that's 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 not it. Over here. There we go. Now the bamboo turns into these straws, and these straws will turn my little guys over here into some trucker hats, blaze burners. Yes. Now, why do I want this? Uh, this is basically allowing them to take in anything that comes from pipes, which is pretty cool, you know? Now, I was thinking about it and tinkering about some things, and I will eventually want to get them to be superheated, which means probably refined fuel. Uh, the, the thing is, I'm not there yet, so hopefully we can just get away with lava, for example. Now, lava, we already have this sort of automated with a magma crucible burning down netherrack, so all we need to do is basically put it into an ender tank, put the ender tank here and feed these guys. And so it's pretty easy. We already have this hooked up and oh God, <laughs> you can see they all turned on at the same time. That's really cool. Now I still do not have access to water in the boiler here. Yeah, so, 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 so this guy needs to wait a little bit before doing that uh, because we need to make another ender tank and I'll have to change its color. This one is being green, so I kind of need to get some red dye. Do we have or actually we're just going to use blue. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because now we just paint these or else they would just they'll just have lava and that's not what I want I want them to have full on water mm, oh yeah it's the other text it's okay yep and now I'm just gonna place this guy I guess I can put it at the back so it doesn't really hurt us that much and just put a pipe here not there here use the morph tool and boom it's gonna be pulling out from there and this other guy is actually going gonna be taking directly from underneath here this is producing us a lot of water so why not you know it's just it's, it's not gonna harm nobody yeah it's filling up pretty quickly now you guys are still on yeah you guys are still on you are completely filled with water now i believe the only thing i'm missing is an engine engine yeah right a steam a steam engine there we go fully working now and these guys should have a bunch of lava on them they do yeah that's pretty good so that guy over there is working fine now we got a lot of stress units and it's time to put them to a good use the first thing we're going to be needing is a mechanical crafter uh we're going to be needing a bunch of these guys now I already went ahead and planned out these guys so I should be good with electron tubes the only problem now is actually brass casings because this thing technically needs a deployer to do this like by hand but the problem is the brass the brass the only way to get brass is either bees which we're not quite there yet or mixing and we can even get like the then can process this here so that's kind of cool so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go down here again we're gonna get another piece of bamboo and we're gonna put it onto here so bamboo just just one just one then we need to well replant these other ones and we're gonna grab the other another blaze burner and we're gonna be using the a setup probably just temporarily until we can get it to work as like, just like we want so i'll probably send this down through here yeah so it seems like a good place to send it down send it over here put it go downstairs and if we just go downstairs it's going to come out here so let's just say we put a cog here and this goes here okay no it's it's gonna be one higher we may just want to do this this 
Uh, the other way seems better, doesn't it? And so I just made this quick setup for us to be actually making a bunch of brass. So they come from there. The logistical transporter puts them into here. And then I actually have a recipe filter plus a filter here for brass. And only brass comes out here. It's, it's not ideal, but it will rent us a lot of brass like, without basically doing anything. Just waiting a little bit, just filling in this chest and it will do its magic on its own. Now, the next, the next thing for me on the list is actually use one of these mechanical saws to automatically make me stripped logs because if i can make a bunch of stripped logs and then i can then store them somewhere that'll be amazing so first of all i need this i'll probably need just an axe any axe we could do this one just do this here so we can actually add this recipe filter not place it there recipe filter perfect and now as soon as we power this like so all of the logs that we put over there will give us yeah that and that's something i also wanted to see was which direction was the saw actually cutting so it's cutting from right to left which means we gotta put this somehow working now do you work with this that would be great if it would but i'm not so sure uh maybe it does let's see, so if you put logs okay it kind of works it works there but it doesn't work here huh that's that's really interesting so i guess we can just do this instead we'll grab this we'll even grab one of you we'll even grab you so you look this way and then we just pick up a couple shafts and put this here just like so then we search for a funnel which we luckily have and we put it over there and i'll need a different rotation than that one actually uh how am i gonna get a different rotation though oh i know i got gear i got cogwheels there we go it's not pretty but it's functional you know so now i can just give this a bunch of logs so log there we go let's let's, let's give this a good amount and then we wait and it's gonna get get us a bunch of strip logs and picking up three deployers and rerouting this from above and down over there to the back we now have access to a cool setup that will allow us to produce some things now this is mainly mainly going to be used for the precision mechanisms these guys right over here and i'll maybe just reroute them around as well but then we need to keep these guys stocked up so maybe I'll also be looking into automating cogwheels like this, automating this setup and automating this setup right over here. Now, this may take a little bit of space, so we'll maybe repurpose this into a different area and maybe just use this area over here, which I think can fit it in. Yeah, I think that area can fit that in. Or in case we need any more space, we can just make a floor above. Though I don't think that would not, I don't think that that would be necessary. Uh, but we do need is a setup, a smaller version of this setup with just one deployer uh, to make a lot of andesite uh, things and brass, of course. And so I'm actually gonna take advantage of these star bunkles right here, so I don't have to reroute from there or from there and this is kind of temporary the while we get some machines up and running so we have this thing right here and we have this guy right here so basically all we gotta do is give this guy a stack put a stack there and slowly but surely point yep there we go we're gonna start to get some brass things going for us now ideally i would actually use 
something like a hopper here now a hopper here would allow us to just dump all of this into there and just put all of this into here and lo and behold wait a little bit then we're gonna have some nice like three stacks of this now i also need to craft up some andesite alloys because uh, i'm pretty sure yeah we're down to one <laughs> uh that shouldn't be that much of an issue pretty much we have unlimited access to iron nuggets and zinc nuggets and also to andesite so just gonna pull out yeah all of this and now we need to restock on andesite but that, that's not an issue because we have andesite being farmed right over here in this pedestal we got a stick and i tried to quit tree scope but they said i couldn't leave oh boy now if we take a look at this recipe we can see it requires 25 of these so that's exactly what i will be crafting right here today plus let's just dump all of this into there and we can do 21 24 27 and i left this wall open here for a reason this is exactly where we're gonna be putting this yep it shouldn't be that hard to place we can, we got the wand so we could just fly a little bit and place it down like so 25 all in its perfectly fine place now we do need to power it uh i think we're just gonna bring it oh that's perfect yeah that that one's perfect right there yep there we go they're all being powered now but i also need to get my hands on well a lot of machines uh kind of the, this alternator may also be very handy it's like the electric motor uh but i really want this guy as well uh and these guys the crushing wheels we also need them because there's a lot of recipes that we can actually use to our benefit with the crushing wheel Cause, especially because we, we're going to be going out to space and while going out of space uh we, we need some resources and the resources are more plastic yeah like this one come in ore and we want to maximize those resources because i don't think we have other ways of getting this it's just like regular mining oh wait we can actually use this here oh oh okay oh but it, okay of course we have we can do the laser setup but it has to be on venus so let's put this guy to the test a stack of small a stack of large and a stack of iron nuggets and we're gonna put oh we can actually access <laughs> this guy hold on yeah and i also made it so i blacklist this precision mechanism so let's put this to the test so anything that's not the precision mechanism as you guys can see it's sent it's been sent back and this is pretty good you know ideally i'll actually have this from the back <laughs> uh but i have to have this connection there so and why <laughs> why was there a cogwheel there i don't know oh i know why because this is a chance of not giving what we want so yeah this recipe is an 80 percent chance of doing what we want and an 80 percent and 20 percent chance of just giving random junk which is bad which means that this process may not be uh as of now 100 percent fully automated because we may need to do some changes mainly with this uh we probably need to change how this is working at the moment uh and these guys also need some refilling no no that no there there we go just like that boom they can continue with the work so for this recipe we need obsidian we need shafts we need ender pearls we need eyes of ender and we need these precision mechanisms so we can just plop these all right over here and hopefully we get uh, well we got the stick of truth uh that's not entirely what i wanted but yep there we go we have an energy transmitter that's pretty good oh the quest has no rewards oh well <laughs> i believe there's something wrong with this uh thing um i don't believe this is meant to be spinning uh, like that because the entire block is spinning but nonetheless 
uh it, it, it's working right <laughs> it, it it's kind of working yeah it's it's sort of working now before i actually hook it up to to this to this energy transmitter and i actually want to do that okay it doesn't work i think i need a, like another gearbox right here and maybe that will work so if we do this yes that works because now these guys are technically connected which means if I just go ahead and grab some of these and we'll probably have yeah we have some some bits and bobs of trash laying around still we go ahead and we make the rotational speed controller this guy we just pull one of these guys right out of here we may need to raise this one by just by one yeah like so and we're gonna have no not this like eh, let's put it here but we can't put it there because of the thing oh so we can't actually control it hmm that's bad unless we raise it up by one so we can adjust the speed we put a shaft we can still adjust the speed from the side which now means we need well another gearbox i think i'm just gonna craft like stacks of these things <laughs> at this point because we need them like we need so many of them that's 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 not funny like we're, we're, i'm constantly using gearboxes even though i know that sometimes there's actually just better options than just using the gearbox but i still prefer using the gearboxes i don't know why they just seem cool so now all we need is a large cogwheel to fit right into here and boom we can put this guy to the maximum pretty sure and it shouldn't actually worry yeah we shouldn't need to worry with anything now yep that's that's what i was thinking <laughs> oh, that's so funny <laughs> i don't know why but that's actually so funny that shouldn't be happening uh, but now uh, let's let's place this guy for example down here yep you can see he's spinning as well <laughs> well i'm gonna send this to the to the ftb team to see if they can do anything about this stuff it doesn't hurt you so you're you're you're, you're fine yep you're you're perfectly fine with this uh but now can we make a flywheel for example yeah we can we had a lot of this and can we for example if i just go out here and right on top of this oh yeah we can look at that yeah this is one of the reasons why i want some flywheels is to do some cool things like this and we can maybe hit them all around this area i would love to have like some bigger flywheels like that would be pretty insane we can technically make our own flywheels as well uh that's actually going to bring us to one of the other create missions uh because since we're not using create for technically making any farms we haven't really made this the mechanical bearing but we can make this guy is it's, it's not that hard to make it's kind kind of cheap if you take a look at it it's just some andesite some shafts and some slabs so let's just do that real quick just grab some andesite which i already have a bunch of we need some slabs not slab <laughs> some regular slabs and a shaft and we got this mechanical bearing so if we were to grab let's for example just grab a couple of stones from here and we're gonna break this flywheel yep and we're gonna put the mechanical bearing on top he's not spinning at the moment but he will because all we could do right now for example is we can give them a couple of blocks like so and here we do like the opposite way yeah like so and if we right click we need the glue of course ah well there we go now the problem with this is that i'm pretty sure that this will actually hit us yeah okay it's actually not that bad oh 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 we're stuck we're stuck in the loop so i went ahead and boom completed the entire create chapter which also gives us a bunch of goodies 
and yeah that's pretty much it now i'm gonna be using create machines for a lot of conveniences that's why one of the reasons why i made this because this is very very handy even though it's uh, not quite um looking it's working as intended it's just not looking as intended and so guys with all that said it was kind of our episode for me today because i had to grind the building and whatnot and i still need to grind like two more rooms between episodes so yes yeah, there's a lot to do but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and there's plenty more to come see you in the next one bye